All right, guys, so we're going to watch one of the videos from my Blender Octane 101 guide. It's a full course that I'm basically making to teach you how to use Blender Octane. For those of the members who are in the community, they get immediate access to videos as they're being released because I'm building the course as we go. So if you're interested in that, check the link down below. First thing first, getting started with Octane Blender, we need to download it. You'll need to download it from the Otoy website, which is home.otoy.com. Once you are on the website, you're going to scroll over to Render, Octane Render. From there, we're going to click on Free Trial. And then we'll see Octane X Free Trial. We want Octane Prime Free Tier. And this is available for Blender, Daz, Unity, and Unreal Engine. Go ahead and click on Try Now. But before we do the click, uh, Try Now button, make sure you have an account signed in. You have an account, it's signed in. Remember your password, because we'll need that password also for our server engine. From there, we'll go ahead and hit try now. You'll be prompted to this page, application completed, prime free tier, okay? What we're gonna need to do at the moment, you can clearly see this has been updated as of September 9th, 9th uh, September 9th of 2024, or September 30th, sorry. And then you're going to download Blender Octane Edition and Download the Octane Server Prime. We need both of these to work. Download them from your appropriate system. They're available for Linux, OS X, CUDA, Windows. Okay. Once you have those downloaded, we'll begin the installation. All right. So now we're going to download the add-on for Blender Octane. At the moment, it is October 5th, 2024, and the add-on is still in beta. So it technically is not available here on the website. But if you are watching this and it's not, it's still in beta and you want to download it, you'll need to download it from the form. If you'll click on the form here, make sure again you are signed into your form or use your account to sign in. From there, we're going to scroll down to Octane License Customer Forms. And then we're going to click on Subforms. We want Blender. From there, we'll come up here to Releases. And now we have a list of releases here. Some will be obsolete, testing, stable, and stable. Now some are available to people in the prime free tier and some are not. Some are available for people who are paying. They get early access to some of this stuff. So you'll just need to check on the one and see if it's available. So in this case here, we're looking for Octane 4.2.4, 24.1, 29.14, stable, and it will tell you what those are available for. So if we come in here and look, okay, this Octane for Blender, Linux and Linux versions, downloads provided are for studio license holders. So this one is not, if you do not have a license or you're paying for Octane, we cannot download this one. So you'll just have to search. Some of these are available for non-studio. And of course, like the beta stuff, we can probably download some of that too. So again, if you come in here and you try to download this, again, we're not a customer. We're not paying, so we don't have access to that. But most of the time in most of my videos, I will put links to the ones that are available. It's easier to find them that way, or you can find them within our uh, group here, our Blender Octane School. All right, so everything is downloaded. Now we're going to install the standalone version. So first, um, it doesn't really matter what particular order. I'm just going to start off with Blender itself. We'll go ahead and load that up. Again, at the moment, I am using 2024.1 stable version. So let's go ahead and say yes. I'm going to hit next. I agree. I'm just going to store it on my C drive. OK, installation is complete. I want to go ahead and hit finished. And then we're going to install our prime server. Double click on that. You'll get this little flag here, but it's no big deal. As long as you downloaded it from the official website, you should be okay. I'm gonna click on more info, and then I'm gonna say run anyway. Then you get, uh, it might pop up here in the bottom like this. So if you don't see anything, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and hit yes. Then next, we're gonna hit next. I agree. Same place, install. Once that's finished, then we're gonna go ahead and click on finished and we're all good. So now let's go ahead and start it up. I'm gonna go into my settings, all apps, 
and here it is for me blender octane edition and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on new now typically what I like to do since I'm running multiple versions of blender you see I have standard vanilla blender to uh, 2.41 there I like to go ahead and pin this one to my taskbar so I know that one is pinned and the other one will be my vanilla vendor blender okay so for some of you who may come to a fresh install they may ask you if you want to say like use right mouse button or some other few options but since I've already had this on previous times it doesn't ask me that anymore so you may just have a different interface for blender here go ahead and select your preferences and you should be okay to go so once we're in this screen here we're still not finished we need to turn on our server if you look on this lower tab here on the bottom right if I click on this and we see we don't see the Octane server anywhere, it will appear here when it's active. So what I'm going to do is go back to my Windows and I'm going to go back and scroll all the way down to we get to Octane. And here you see Octane Server Prime, New, and I'm going to go ahead and fire that up. And then when you initially do it, you might not see anything happen. But if you come back here to the tab again, showing hidden icons, there it is. And if I mouse over it, it says it's deactive. I'm going to go ahead and click on it one time. Some people may need to double click, but I found if I click on it one time, here it says Octane is not active. I'm going to go ahead and click on Activate. I'm going to need to put in my credentials, the same thing that you use to open up your account. Once it's activated, you'll get a green light. Octane is activated. Use for your Oto account. Now, don't be surprised here where it says expires on Tuesday. The, for me it says Tuesday 5 November 2024 it's not going to expire so don't worry about any of that just go ahead and hit close so now we pretty much have Octane Blender installed so if you guys want to watch more of these videos down below check the link for my Blender Octane course it's in my Blender Octane community there you can get immediate access and for the next seven days I'll knock five bucks off so jump on that, get in there, finish watching some more of these videos and get access to the newest videos as soon as they are finished cooking from me. Patrick LeVar, catch you guys in the next one. Take a look at this video. Peace.